Okay, so good afternoon or good morning, good day sa lahat. Uh, for this video lesson, we will be discussing perfect square numbers. So, mostly sa mga students natin is not aware of this uh, topic in mathematics. No? So, ano nga ba ang perfect squares? So, wag mo... Wag kalilimutang mag-subscribe sa ating channel para ma-updated sa ating mga video lessons, no? So, sorry for the background noise. Ayan. So, ano nga ba ang mga perfect square numbers? Okay. So, ang perfect squares, pag sinabing perfect squares, it is a number or integer na expressed as a product of an integer by itself and since the number or the same number is multiplied twice, the perfect square is also written as the second exponent of an integer. Thus, the squares of all integers are known as perfect squares. So, here are some examples sa nasabi nating perfect squares. Okay, let's say 16. So, 16 is a perfect square since it is a product of an integer with itself. So, ano yung itself na yan? That is... 4. So, if we multiplied 4 to itself, the product is 16. That is why 16 is a perfect square. So, to find a perfect square, simply multiply any integer by itself. And that's it. So, how to denote a perfect square? We write 2 as the power of the given number, like this. So, 5 squared, that will give you 25. And 25 is a perfect square. We read this as 5 squared. So, how to identify perfect squares? To identify perfect squares, we mostly have to pay attention to the last digit of the number. So, tignan natin yung last digit. Pansinin po natin. We see that the integers 1, 2, 7, 8 never appear at the 1's place. Yung 1's place natin has the numbers of 0, 1, 4, 5, 6, or even 9. So, we can deduce that the numbers with 0, 1, 4, 5, 6, 9 as their last digit can be perfect squares. So, memorize mo lang yan. So, if the last digits is 2, 3, 7, or 8, the given number is not a perfect square. So, here are some other observations you can make. First, perfect squares of numbers ending with 3 or 7 have 9 at their 1's place. Tulad nito. Okay. 3 squared ng 3 ay 9. So, this is the 1's place. That is 9. Uh, 7. 7 squared is 49. And the 1's place is 9. Another is, perfect squares of numbers ending with 5. Like this. 25 ending with 5 have a 5 at their 1's place. Perfect squares of numbers ending with 4 or 6, 4 or 6, 4 or 6, have 6 at their 1's uh, place. So 6. Like 6 squared 36 at ang 1's place niya ay 6. Perfect squares of numbers ending with 2 or 8 have 4 at their 1's uh, place. Like this. Okay, 64, yeah. One's place is 4. So, 8. 8 squared. 2 squared, 2. Ang uh, ating sagot is 4. 4 is a perfect square. Perfect squares of numbers ending with 1 and 9 have 1 at their 1's place. So, like this one, 9. 81. So, 81 is a perfect square. So, ang 1's niya ay 1. Okay, so those are some observations. Now, to sum up, all perfect squares end in 1, 4, 5, 6, 9, or 0, even number of zeros, ha? A number that ends in 2, 3, 7, or 8 is not a perfect square. No number can be a perfect square unless its digital root is 1, 4, 7, or 9. 
the total numbers of prime factors of a perfect square are always odd. If the unit digit ends in 5, tens digit is always 2. And in a num num uh, if a number ends with 0, you may look at how many zeros at the end. If the number of zeros is odd, the number is not a perfect square. If the number of zeros is even, then it might be a perfect square. So that's all about this video. Don't forget to subscribe.